I am Satosh Gankar. Today I am teaching you mechanics of material in that one torsion. A solid shaft rotating at 500 rpm. Data they have given it is 500 rpm. N is equal to 500 rpm. Transmit 30 kilowatt. P is nothing but 30 kilowatt. 30 into 10 is to 3 watt. Maximum torque is 20% more than the mean torque. Condition is given. T max is 1.20 to T mean. How to obtain? See here. 100 plus 20. It becomes 120 divided by 100. It is 1.20 or 1.2 into T mean. You have to add 100 plus 20. You have to do it. Then divide by 100, it becomes 1.20 mean. And the modulus of rigidity, G value given, G is equal to 81, GPA, which is nothing but 81 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. Angle of twist in the shaft should not exceed 1 degree. Theta is given in terms of 1 degree. Convert into radian, it is pi by 180, you have to do it. It get converted into radian determine the suitable diameter we have to determine the suitable diameter determine the suitable diameter uh, this is the formula list of the formula i'm going to use it in order to find out the diameter first i will write this formula t divided by jp is equal to tau divided by r g theta divided by l this is a solid shaft therefore jp is equal to pi divided by 32 into d raised to 4 solid shaft solid shaft where d is nothing but sorry where is r is nothing but d by 2 now first i have to find out the mean torque how to find out the mean torque by using the power P is equal to 2 pi n. T in place of T you have to write T mean. Because I have clearly mentioned T is nothing but mean torque. If the condition is given. Divide by 60,000. The P value is given. 30. 30 into 10 raised to 3. 2 into pi. Into n is 500. Into T mean. Divide by 60,000 cross multiply the t mean will be t mean will be 57 point sorry 57 uh, 572.96 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm newton mm now after getting the t mean substitute in the t max Sir, T max is equal to 1.20 into 572.96 into 10 raised to 3. The answer is 687.552 into 10 raised to 3 Newton mm. Newton mm. Now we got the T max. Now substitute in the formula and now this T becomes what? T max. Right T max. It is a diameter formula problem. Therefore, use the combination of torque with respect to shear and torque with respect to theta. Otherwise, you will not get the proper answer. If the diameter is concerned, better go with the combination of torque. Now first I will go with the combination of torque and the shear based on the shear based on shear stress based on shear stress formula is T max is equal to JP is equal to tau divided by R tau divided by R tau max is known 687.552 into 10 raised to 3 pi divided by 32 30 
टू पाई डिवाइड बाई थर्टी टू इंटू डी रेस टू फोर डी रेस टू फोर टव इज गिवन एज टव सिक्सटी फाइव अलोएबल शेयर स्टेज सिक्सटी फाइव टव इज गिवन हियर टव इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सिक्सटी फाइव आर इज थिंग बट डी बाई टू डी डी गेट कैंसर इट बिकम्स क्यूब टू इट बिकम सिक्सटीन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई इट बिकम डी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स सेवन एम एम और डायरेक्टली यू कैन डू इट विद हेल्प ऑफ कैलकुलेटर नो बेस्ड अपॉन ट्विस्ट बेस्ड ऑन ट्विस्ट Again, I will use the combination of torque and theta. You will get the better result. T max is equal to J P G theta divided by L. G theta divided by L. The T max will be six eighty seven point five five two into ten raised to th three. J P will be pi divided by thirty two into d raised to four. G will be eighty one into ten raised to three. Theta is theta is one into pi divided by one eighty divided by length divided by length. The length they have mentioned one meter. One meter L is equal to one meter. One meter is nothing but one into thousand. It becomes one thousand. Substitute here length. One thousand cross multiply. The d value will be forty-seven point one seven seven mm. Now there are two d values are obtained based upon the shear stress and based upon the twist. Here the maximum diameter you have to select it. Why we have to select the maximum diameter? In order to in order to obtain life. For the better life of the shaft, you have to select the larger diameter. Select larger diameter. D is equal to forty-seven point one seven seven. And so the. Solution. 